Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so scared. You'll be able to see Suan and she would already be. Dating is so hard. Over the past seven years, I've been on all the dating apps. Bumble, Tinder, Coffee Meets Bagel, OkCupid, you name it, I've tried it. But yet nothing seems to stick. Am I the drama? I'm sad. Match me, please. I've tried the free and paid versions of these apps before. You still have to go through that mind-numbing process of talking to everyone, filtering out the legit people from the scammers, weirdos and clowns myself. After a bit of research, I've settled on trying out professional matchmaking service Lunch actually. 19 years of experience, 150,000 dates arranged, 87% satisfaction rate. What happened to the last 13%? I'll try anything at this point, so let's sign up and see how it goes. First, you go for a consultation where your matchmaker will ask you questions about your background, dating history and what you're looking for in a partner. Then, the agency will look through their database to find you a match. Once the match is found, both singles will go on a date. There's three buckets that I'm going to give you now. Your must-have criteria, good-to-have criteria, your deal-breakers. Well, I can ask for too much, right? <laughs> okay. I for me, must-haves are open-mindedness, must be ambitious, not necessarily just at work, but have a big zest for life. Do you want someone with more global background? Actually, yes. If a person has a very traditional set of, this is what a woman must be like, or this is what I expect from, you know, like, must stay at home, I think that would be a bit difficult for me, because I would say I'm fairly global and I'm also very independent. Okay, I think my physical must-have is a uh, height. <laughs> My minimum is like maybe 180, 178. My first thing that I'm attracted to in a person is height. Uh, yeah. Right. I would like a tall guy. So let's move to the deal breakers. Somebody who is disrespectful to others. Like a man who is able to respect his family will then respect yours. And my family is very important to me. Actually, your preferences are still okay. okay. I would say it's not something that is sky high. It's just one thing that perhaps I can um, negotiate with you will be the height. Oh yes. No. <laughs> so do you prefer like 180, which is a scumbag? Or like someone that is 170, but he is really sweet to you? Honestly, at first, I'll probably go for the scumbag. <laughs> but then, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're right lah. I mean, mm, maybe park it in the good to have. I'm actually very, very hopeful. I don't really know what to expect, but if she really finds somebody with all the traits that she um, analysed me for, I think that we should be like a pretty good match. Um, yeah, I will work on the height thing. So we have found your match. Oh Are you gosh. excited to hear about it? Which gentleman he preferred to be known no. as WJ for now, which is his initial. So will you show me like a picture or like... No, this will actually protect the privacy of our client. So basically, I will share with you about his personality and everything. So I don't know what he looks like until the day. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's like a blind date. <laughs> Okay. Not completely blind, he articulates himself very well. Very well spoken, very friendly, very intellectual. So he's doing uh, very well in his career, very um, stable and someone with a growth mindset. So he likes to learn things outside of his expertise. He is also quite a spontaneous person, so he did share with us that sometimes when he hears a particular song, he will just break into a dance or like just hum to the music. So he's quite a uh, quirky. He likes to change his hair colour every now oh. and then. So now he okay. is in his ash grey, Era. <laughs> uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> his height is. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not a 180, so okay. he is 173 centimeter uh, in terms of height. Then okay. his build is more towards the medium build. All the arrangement will be done by our agency, so we will just check in with both of you if you have a preferred place or restaurant to go to. Then we make the reservation on behalf under the name of the couple. As she was describing him, I didn't really feel like he would be somebody that I would typically be interested in. You know, if nothing else, I think if I go in with an open mind, you know, something might come of it, it's very hard to say. So we'll just go on the end and see how it goes. But the fact that he breaks out in song, I cannot. But I just hope he's nice. You'd be surprised at the number of very strange guys I've met during this journey. 
I mean, at least for our generation, right? We've been exposed to like the dating apps and all that for such a long time that you just meet so many kind of random people. Over time, you just kind of, I want to say jaded, but you just, you kind of think you know the pattern of what people are going to be like, whether that's true or not. Most of my friends around me are attached or, you know, I attended three weddings in the past month. I don't think it's peer pressure, but I think when you see other people sort of settling into a routine with somebody that they chose, um, it makes me wonder like, is, is there something wrong with me? I'm increasingly conscious or maybe afraid of the fact that maybe I will just have a life where I have to fend for myself. Um, and yeah, I mean, I mean, sorry, that's like very heavy, right? It's just a date, but I think it's a lot of the things I've been thinking about and also where I'm at in life. Dong you will you'll essentially walk in first. You walk directly all the way in and then it'll be a table on your left. You'll be able to see Suan and she would already be. Oh my god, so nervous. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah. Uh, inside here. Yeah. Hi. hi, nice Hello. to meet you. Hi, I'm Sue. Hi, hi. I'm WJ. Yeah. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. I was I was told that you had ash blonde hair, but so the oh. hair looks different. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The thing is, it oh. grew oh, okay. and then. So, that how was, often do you change your hair colour? Uh, actually, that was the first time I changed my hair oh. colour. Yeah. Actually, I'm curious. Why do you think that Andrea chose me for you? What did they tell you? Uh, what did they tell me? Okay, because I'm looking for someone that is uh, like more inte intellectually curious. That is like my main. Like, I actually worked on like my own generative AI. Oh, project. cool! So then, what do you do for fun? Like, huh? Other than what? Is this what you do for fun? Yeah, this is what I do for fun, and I go gym, and then uh, I also read. Have a recent fascination for philosophy, actually. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. What are your favorites? Very into existentialism. Okay. Interesting. Do, yes, do, what aspects? Do, what, who do you read? Currently re reading Nietzsche. Okay. Yeah. So a very depressing read, reading. Do you talk read, to your friends read, and family about like the matchmaking service? No. Oh really? <laughs> why not? Why not? <laughs> because okay, but my parents uh, they, they uh, don't they really like, do whatever. Yeah, do whatever you want, that kind of thing. As long as you don't like bring loan sharks to the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a very low <laughs> Like what do you think the moral of the story uh, of this? I think it means that we're all limited by what we know. Yeah. And that the truth is always often bigger than the sum of what we think we know. Yes, yes, yes. You got it correctly. One person can only meet a limited amount of people. Unless you're on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for agreeing to do this. Yes. Like, I, I find you really interesting. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. I'm Fascinating trying. Fascinating person, yeah. <laughs> Like, I can see myself hanging out with WJ again, like, as friends. He's an interesting person, there's decent conversation. Um, there might not be, like, an immediate attraction or, like, an immediate chemistry, but, I mean, I definitely think that there's, we could be friends. So, and I think that's a good sign. It goes to show that these are people that I might not pick for myself, but the fact that the service pushes me to meet people outside of my usual circles, I think that in itself is very valuable. Uh, and, yeah, I, I actually might really, like, be interested to meet more people down the line just because clearly swiping for myself hasn't really been the solution either. Yeah. Anyway, I asked for nice and I got nice, so... The service was um, interesting. It definitely forced me out of my comfort zone. All in all, I found the consultation bit to be really good. It helped me think about what I want and put things in perspective. This part, I will still use in the future. But the downside is that there is no way to filter out people I already know I would not be interested in. There's just things I can't describe, right? Especially about personality. So here's the tea. For upwards of $2,000, I don't know if this is something I'll go for again. That said, it was really quite an eye-opening experience and I'm very glad that I gave it a shot. When it comes to dating, will you be willing to spend this much money in order to save time? Tell us what you think in the comments below. So then what do you all think? Do you think that the guy should always pay? If let's say now, we go out on a date and you think that the, the, the date is trash, we go Dutch, you are going to tell your friends, Whoa, 
You still make me pay. Eh? <laughs> Hundred dollars to yeah. save my reputation. It's okay. Yeah. Um, it's okay. For more great adulting tips, subscribe to the Hit Start newsletter. Or are all good men just extinct? Like dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs. Looking for a place to Jurassic Park talk? Jurassic Park talk.